Ladies and gentlemen, we are live at another restaurant. We're celebrating the pre celebration of restaurant week sizzle southwest florida may 31st of june 13th my name is rafael feliciano and we have been eating all over southwest florida the best restaurants 71 to be exact uh, earlier today we were at king's kitchen downtown fort myers we went down to la cuisine peruvian roots in naples and now we're back in fort myers we are at blue point oyster bar and grill right I don't know why I confused that. We're at Blue Point, Blue Point Oyster Bar and Grill. Um, we are the sister restaurant of Real Seafood. Guys, Restaurant Week is presented by Mercedes Benz of Bonita Springs. Also, the Greg Norman Collection. Shout out to Miss Dawn Kurtz, the general manager at the Miramar Outlet Store. Thank you so much for supplying us with this awesome gear. Guys, Restaurant Week, what is it? Why do we do it? Why have we been eating? Why am I up 12 pounds and guys down 10 pounds? And we're doing it because Restaurant Week is important. It is for the restaurants during the shoulder months, during the shoulder time of the year, when we can do use a little business, when the locals can have a new place to go, taste new foods, experiment with their palates a little bit, and, and try foods they've never had. If you're used to going to Outback all the time, go visit a local restaurant. Come here to Blue Point. Come to Bell Tower. Go to La Cuisine. Um, we're also dining with purpose. So we've worked with a lot of great charities and organizations in the past, but this year we want to change it up. We want to make the mission come back full circle. So we started our Civil Southwest Florida Food and Beverage Scholarship with FGCU. Uh, Mary said that she loves the shirt. Mary, listen, Mary, if you love the shirt, you can get the shirt. Here's a pitch. Here's an ad. Go to Miramar Outlet's Greg Norman Collection. Go see Don. She'll take care of you. Um, we have James on the camera. So he's. if you guys have any questions, like the video, love the video, share it. Let us know. Stay in touch with us. We're going to be going through three items from Blue Point's Restaurant Week menu. We also have a special guest from FGCU, representing FGCU. And we're actually going to bring her on right now, Miss Issa. How are you? Isa is a very good friend of mine, but she's also a staff representative at FGCU. So tell us about yourself. Um, so I am an alumni of FGCU, and I'm currently working there as a multicultural development coordinator. Beautiful. What does that mean? Well, I do all of the cultural and faith-based programs. I oversee our alternative break program, our multicultural ambassador program, our Frosh Mosh Freshman Institute. Say that three times fast. Frosh Mosh, Frosh Mosh, Frosh Mosh. <laughs> I practice. <laughs> and I do a lot of the diversity training for our students on campus. Awesome, awesome. And you've been, so I mean, so you're an FTCU alumni. Yes. You've seen the university grow and expand over X amount of time. What What is exciting about the growth and the future and FGCU's impact here in the area? Well, I feel that FGCU is the premier institution in the area. We are going to be continuing to grow. We are catering to the students. We have amazing programs to offer, like our nursing program, our resort and hospitality management program. <laughs> <laughs> and um, our business school is really good, too. So we have a lot of great programs, and we really want to keep our students here in southwest Florida. And this area is growing exponentially, so we really need people to stay here and help in that growth. God. All right, so this leads into <laughs> the most important question. So we, as you know, we've been yes. talking about it, you've seen it. We have $1 from every meal sold going yes. to our food and beverage scholarship. I mean, that's potentially a lot of money. That's potentially a huge impact. Mm -hmm. How are scholarships like this benefit, benefiting the kids? How is this impactful? Well, we have students that need money in every which way, shape, and form at the university. Uh, I hear stories all the time about students that are like, I need money for school and I don't know where to get it. So this is going to benefit them in a way that you probably have no idea um, that they're impacting. So perhaps maybe one day you could even have like a little gala and like say they can say thank you to you one day. Randy, if Randy, if Mr. <laughs> if Randy Upchurch or Angela or anyone at FGC is listening, she said it. I didn't. Maybe we can have a gala. Maybe we can do some cool things for the scholarship. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it all starts with this restaurant week. Yes, definitely. And I think that. Um, keeping our students in this area, keeping Southwest Florida in Southwest Florida and growing it to be the premier location in the state of Florida, I think that we can do that and the scholarship I think is going to help with that, with keeping our students here. Awesome. Well, Issa, thank you so much. Issa, we're, she's talked about FGCU. I've talked about the restaurants. Now we're going to meet with Chef Andy. He's going to talk to us about his awesome food and his restaurant week menu. Chef, how are you? Excellent. So, listen, I'm up 12 pounds. I'm full. 
I haven't, you know, I didn't have a glass of wine today, so, no. you know, I normally drink during these things. But we why, have a cocktail. We have a cocktail. <laughs> well, Chef, listen, this is your first time. Well, this is your second restaurant week, um, but we're you you signed on early this time. You guys really jumped on board. What was really exciting for you guys coming on? Um, you know, it's something to get, you know, get new people into our restaurant, come and try our restaurant, check out the freshness of all of our food, you know, everything from the salmon, you know, everything we get in. I take so much time in to bring it in so fresh and stuff. And this year we're, you know, we're, we're you know, donating to a cause that's great. And the reason why is because, you know, my future workers are going to come out of this, and I know it. Yeah, that's you know? awesome. Yeah. And you said you've been here, you've been locally here for some time, this restaurant. Tell us a little bit about your history, your background. Uh, you know, I, I've been working in restaurants since I've been 13. I uh, went to Schoolcraft College up in Michigan, graduated there. I've been with this company for over 20, well, 19 years, I think. I uh, transferred here to be the head chef. I've been the head chef here for going on until... Almost 11 years in October. Almost 11 years. Yeah, yeah. That's consistent, man. Yeah, it's nuts. That's consistent, which which also speaks volumes of this location being a pillar here in Bell Tower, here in Southwest Florida. We we always talk about the food scene growing. We were talking about restaurant earlier before before we were on video. We were talking about the new restaurants that are coming on board and the food and area. What have you seen as a chef? How things have changed? Uh, you know, the the scene is definitely been stepped up in the last couple of years you know there's a lot of great chefs out there a lot of great restaurants out there um, that you know they're putting out great food and uh, the, the scene has gotten a lot be bigger because <clears throat> we have more local people down here now year-round uh, you know there's it seems like we have an influx of younger people coming in in the town and moving oh, yeah, down absolutely here. the growth of FGCU yeah, yeah. and it's, younger it's, it, yeah. it's crazy and, you know it's like and they're Everybody's a foodie now. Everyone's and, a foodie. And that's the best thing about it. Well, we see, I mean, we're very social media driven. And when we ask these chefs, and we've, we've been very fortunate to go to a lot of great restaurants. But, I mean, even you take your plate right here. It's a nice plate. It's a colorful fish. You know, it's Instagram worthy is kind of like how we'd say. Yeah, yeah. You know, everyone, we want everyone to take photos of their food and, and post it. Guys, if you are doing dining during restaurant week, May 31st to June 13th, use the hashtag Dine with Purpose, also our hashtag SizzleSWFL, and you want to make your reservations. Look, the, the restaurants are piling up, especially in Naples where we started, the Fort Myers, the Cape Coral, the Bonita restaurants. It's Reservations are piling up quick. You do not want to miss this. It's three-course dinner starting at $26 or $36, also two-course lunches that start at $16 and $21, and you guys are doing both, uh, right? Yeah. You yeah. guys are doing lunch and dinner. Yep. And uh, why why'd you go with that? What, what was the... Uh, well, just bring people in, you know, some people can't come out at dinner, some people can come out at lunch. Do you, you guys know? have a good lunch lunch crowd? Uh, yeah, we have a decent lunch crowd. You know, the people that come in here usually get the same thing over and over again because we have our <laughs> staples, you know, and I'm not complaining about that. That's okay. But, but you know, this gives them an opportunity to try something different, you know. Food's good. Food's good. Well, let's talk I, about I, the food. I, I, I create good things, you know, and you got to try some of my creations, you know. I like it. I like it. So let's start off. If this is restaurant week. We have three courses on the menu. Um, let's go with course one. Uh, course one, we have um, it's our arugula melon salad. Uh, what we have is we have some uh, honeydew, some cantaloupe, um, and uh, then we have some arugula in there. Then we also have uh, it's tossed in a mint dressing. Mint dressing. Yeah, What's mint that right dressing. There? That, oh yeah, that's a jumble and crab meat. That's a nice. Uh, that's a nice chunk. Yeah, I, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, that's a <laughs> nice little. Did you forget to mention that? That's a nice little surprise in there. Uh, we also have some blue cheese in there too, and then we have some uh, candy cashews. Uh, with the candy cashews, I put a touch of cayenne pepper on them, just to give them a little bit of heat. You know, nothing but. So a little bit of sweet, a little bit of heat, yeah. watermelon. And you were saying you actually had some real cool knowledge about melons right now, watermelons. And oh yeah, watermelons are so hot right now. You go go to Publix, get yourself a big old watermelon that's like, you know, this ten times the size of my head, yeah. and I have a big head, um, <laughs> and they're like seven or eight bucks. It's actually small compared to mine. I hey, have a hey, bigger. Hey, I have hey, a big head too. Yeah, you do. You have a large. Thanks, noggin. man. Thanks. Yeah, not a problem. We just became best friends. Um, <laughs> 
but yeah, they're so sweet and tasty right now. They're they're not mealy like they get in the summertime, <clears throat> and they have nice juice to them. They're awesome, and that's like part of that that melon salad. It's the freshness that you're going for, you know. Perfect you for the spring. Perfect for the summer. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You have you have all the flavors in it. It's light. It's not heavy. You know, it's Beautiful. something you can eat for days. Beautiful. Days. Oh, oh, there's the melon at the bottom, guys. Oh yeah. Melon, little cashews, a little oh, yeah. crunchy, a little soft, yeah, a little man. sweet and spicy. So good, yeah. Delicious. It's a nice balance, you know? A nice awesome. little balance on a, on, on a salad. You I know, think that's a, a... And it's a different salad. It's not something you're going oh, to see I love the walnut, any... um, the... Cashews? The cashews. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Okay, Cash... so... It's, a, it's an awesome salad, man. I'm, I actually was really, really excited about making now, that. Now, are these things that are on your Restaurant Week menu... Um, are these things that are on your regular menu or? No, special for restaurant week. Oh, beautiful. All, uh, now, are all these items or just one specifically? All of them. All right, awesome, guys. So listen, we have a lot of restaurants that are doing signature stuff for restaurant week, but Blue Point here in Bell Tower, Fort Myers, Daniels Parkway, US 41, they have a menu that is completely new. They're trying to say, hey, listen, this is, not only do we have great tr traditional classic food, right? We, you said, I cook good stuff. I, well, I, you know, yeah, you know, the food here is so fresh, you know, and I, I take pride in that. And I, I take pride in creating new dishes, um, you know, and this is a way for me to play, as I would say. Awesome, awesome. Guys, if you're just tuning in, it's Restaurant Week, May 31st, June 16th, uh, June 13th. It's 14 days. We are six days away. Make your reservations. Visit Sizzle restaurantweek.com you're going to get a list of all the restaurants all the regions we're in all the menus you're going to get photos of the food you're going to learn a little bit about our scholarship um, you're going to see our sponsors Mercedes Benz and Benita Springs the Greg Norman Collection at Miramar Outlets and we have James holding the camera today if you guys have any questions like comment shares feel free ask the questions we here we got two more dishes left chef what's next uh, we have uh, a lobster cake over uh, fennel salad, with the uh, fennel salad has this little fennel, a little bit of uh, spring mix, and on top of that lobster cake there, you got uh, a tarragon aioli. That I, I you know, tarragon aioli, tar lobster cake, lobster cake. Now look the out, look, right look at the lobster in this. Dude, look, look at that. that. Yeah, right. Dude, look at that. So good. Where do you guys get um? Where do you guys get your food from? Do you guys source locally? Do you try um, to? Some some of it we source locally. Uh, we we uh, do a lot of business from uh, Foley's Fish up in Boston. Uh, they purchase top catch fish for us, so it's you know it's fresh off the boat, it gets shipped down to us. Um, and I get that fish in. I mean, with my my oysters especially, I get all my northern oysters through them. You know that lobster. Yeah, that's gonna be good. All right. Oh man, right? What's awesome about it is if you've had a good crab cake or yeah. a lobster cake, it's stuffed with. It, there's a lot of fillers. Right, right. That's that's a lot of lobster in there. Yeah, it's just it's just like our crab cakes here. You know, like you're, you're getting a crab cake. You're not getting a a bread cake. A bread cake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, can, you know what yeah, I'm saying? I get it. I get it. Yeah. If, if you're, you're a real wanna... foodie, and Chef right. said it earlier, if you're a real foodie, you know the difference from a crab cake and a bread cake that has a little bit of crab in it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's a there's a lot of great chunks and it also plays off well onto the freshness of your your first course. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's a little heavier second course, but you know, they're little small cakes. Yeah, but they're full, packed full of flavor and that's the biggest thing about them. Awesome. You know, and that arugula salad is just it's good. It's tasty. It's fresh, you know. It's again, it's nothing that's going to make you hold your belly afterwards and be like, "Hey, I ate too much food." Uh, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's something to get you get you excited about food, you know. Well, I think what's cool too, you not you guys are one of the restaurants that we always have a lot of a lot of restaurants that do um, upgrades on wines and things like that. But you have a cocktail for Restaurant Week. Yeah, yeah, we got a cocktail. So we got a watermelon cocktail. Uh, what we did was we infused uh, some vodka uh, infused, with so watermelon. Infused watermelon One. infused vodka. vodka. Yeah, and then what we do is we take a, a little bit of. Uh, Vodka or watermelon puree it up and uh, shake it all together, man, and it's voila. Yeah, you made this for us. All right, I'm going to taste right, it. Yeah, you better taste yeah, it. Yeah, it's I a Friday I evening. I, I can't have it. You can have yeah, it. Yeah, look. Well, 
I'm not going to fire myself. And guy's probably thinking, oh, he's drinking again. But hey, listen. Hey. We're doing this for the job. Right? This is for the right. job. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not, a, I'm not really a vodka guy. My, my dog's name is Bourbon. Okay. I have another dog, Kahlua. I'm yep. a dark liquor guy. Yeah. But I am too. Okay, cool. So right. it, uh, we understand. Restaurants. But right. when you start off with that salad... When you start off, when you go with that lobster cake, yep. that's a nice, it keeps the freshness of the meal. Right, exactly. Again, light, light, light fare, light easy fare. drinks. Do we have any questions, right. James? Yes. Um, Heidi said yum, Heidi said yum, yum, and a watermelon cocktail, double heart emoji. <laughs> <laughs> double heart emoji. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. What other, um, now these aren't everything that's on your menu. What other items do you guys have that we don't feature here? We don't feature on the table. Um, you know, we, we can add on. You can add on a single tail, uh, lobster tail, broiled lobster tail. Uh, add on a brochette, like a shrimp brochette. You could add that on. Uh, what else can we add on? A shrimp brochette, lobster. Oh, and king crab legs too. A half pound of king crab legs. You can add that on too. Half pound of king crab legs. Yeah. That's where I'm at. Yeah, that's real good. That's where I'm at. Yeah. If I'm dining near Restaurant Week, I'm doing all the additional courses. I'm upgrading. Guys, Restaurant Week, May 31st, June 13th. It is a three-course menu that starts at um, 26 or $36. Yeah, 36 yeah. Lunches that um, 16 or $21. And it's sizzlerestaurantweek.com. Restaurant Week is presented by Mercedes-Benz and Bonita Springs. Greg Norman collection uh, at Miramar Outlets, and I think we have another question. Yes, um, Guy asked about desserts. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, okay. So we don't have desserts on this menu, but we do all of our desserts in-house. Uh, if you want the best dessert you ever could possibly have, we have this uh, French toast that bread. Is, that bread. is a huge, like, that's a huge line. <laughs> See? Well, no, no, the French bread pudding. No, hold on. Hold on, wait a second. I gotta say it right. Okay, so, okay. I'm messing up. No pressure. French, French toast bread pudding. That's what it is. French toast. Yeah, French toast bread, bread pudding. pudding. Right. Comes with ice cream, a little maple syrup on top. It literally tastes like breakfast and dessert all at the same time. Amazing. Dude, that's plus, money. Plus, on top of that, we do a homemade key lime pie. That's the best key lime pie you ever had. Now, what's the secret? When you say key lime pie, because like real we, key lime. we've, okay, I'm a t I've not had it. It's not on the table, yeah. so I'm yeah. not, there's no skin in the game when I say this. We've been told that a good key lime pie is truly tart. That's a little tart, that's a, yeah. as, as, Okay, so yours L is? A little, little tart. A little tart. It doesn't have to be total tart, but okay. it has a little tart. In, so. Now, you guys do everything, the crust in-house. Yeah, crust in-house, everything in-house. Beautiful. I mean, that sounds good, but that French toast bread pudding french toast bread pudding yeah. do you have it here toe, today toe, toe, toe curling good dude all right i'm gonna order it today i'm gonna post a picture of it i'm gonna send it to guy so he can be jealous um okay great so we got the <laughs> i don't even know where to go from there I, that's <laughs> what i want next i'm definitely gonna order it we're definitely gonna post a photo we just had some of their watermelon cocktail and now we're gonna move into the next course yeah so we have uh atlantic stuffed salmon so this salmon that we get from Foley's, uh, it's, it's from Bay of Fundy. Uh, so it's Canadian farm-raised salmon. So they use all natural feed on the salmon. Oh, all wow. right. So this is the best salmon you could possibly get. They're bins that they actually farm-raise them in. Normally when you farm-raise salmon, like Chilean uh, salmon and all that stuff, it's really small bins and stuff. This stuff, they really big bins, so they allow the fish Look to grow. That. They can swim freely and everything. It's a, it's it's. The most amazing salmon you ever had, dude. What is this so, stuffed so, in? So, so we're, we're stuffing it with. Uh, we got jumbo and crab meat in there. Sun dried jumbo crab meat inside yeah, yeah, salmon. Yeah, we got some uh, jumbo and crab meat, some spinach, some sun dried tomatoes, um, leeks, uh, and then you know a little little bit of seasoning in there. So we got thyme, oregano, basil, uh, and a little bit of stock. And what that makes is a nice light stuffing. Right? That goes in it. So it's top. So what's on top of it, what oh, you're yeah. getting there, is that orange beurre blanc. That's what exact. Oh, they're right oh, here. Yeah, yeah. So, so that, that, that that's orange beurre blanc. So that orange beurre blanc, basically it tastes like, it tastes like a push-up pop. So you had a push-up pop. It tastes like a push-up pop. Taste it. I've never up. heard that in my life. Just taste it. Right? All right. It tastes like a push-up pop. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> right? It tastes like a so, butcher box. So, so, it's, so basically, it's Damn, a burp blanc. Good, so, so you got you got white wine in there. You got some uh, orange juice in there. You reduce it down. Put a touch heavy cream. Then you whip in your butter, your butter slowly, and you know it comes out. And it tastes so good. So that that's awesome. So it's on top of it the salmon. It almost also tastes like like gravy on your ham for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Well, it has that consistency. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like well. They're probably because I had a little bit of bacon too, yeah, so it gave oh, me that, yeah. oh, that yeah. ham feeling. That so, yeah, taste. so it's served with uh, Herco Bears, some bacon crispy Herco Bears. Guys, look at that. Look so, at this. So it's hot. Sauteed up those uh, green beans with a little bit of bacon, a little bit of butter, a little salt and pepper. And honestly, I really liked hearing you talk about the salmon because, yes, you get salmon everywhere, but when you know the salmon, when you well, know I, where yeah, it's coming I can, from, I can trace it back to where who brought it in, what day it brought in. I can trace back all my food like that. Which is, I mean, you guys are Blue Point. You know, that's your name. This is your name. Your other sister restaurant's Real Seafood, right. which we did the live video um, a couple, almost a week ago. Yeah. So you guys are known for your seafood. So when we hear you know about your salmon, know where it's coming from, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, so we, we, I have all this information. And the thing about it is it's not just me that has the information. It's all my staff. You know, you can ask your servers about all the fish, and we can tell you everything about it. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome, huh. chef. One more time, three courses. Go through them. Tell us what they were again. So we got uh, arugula melon salad with jumbo lump crab meat, uh, candy cashews, uh, blue cheese topped with uh, mint dressing. Mint dressing. Yes. I mean, there's some crab. There's some watermelon. Yeah, watermelon. You got watermelon cantaloupe. Honeydew, yeah. Honeydew, look at Honeydew, that. Honeydew, yeah. Awesome. So that's good. course one. Course one. Something that's not on your menu. Now we got course two. Course two is uh, you got uh, lobster cakes. Lobster cakes are topped with uh, tarragon aioli. Uh, it's over a bit of mixed greens and shaved fennel. And that was good, guys. Listen, if you know your if you know your crab cakes, if you know your lobster cakes, there is more lobster than there is bread. That is an amazing dish. And then we're going to your stuffed. Salmon. Give yeah. us the lowdown on that one more time. So stuffed salmon's oven baked, uh, stuffed with uh, jumbo lump crab meat, spinach, leeks, sun-dried tomatoes, um, and then uh, we're we're topping it with a uh, orange beurre blanc, and then you got uh, perico bears with bacon, because everybody loves bacon. Everyone loves bacon. My business partner is named is Guy Clark. If Guy's watching, I guarantee you he just put bacon in exclamation points. Oh, yeah. um, he was one of the founding guys for Bacon Fest Naples, mm. which was everything bacon. So say that one more time. There's bacon in ba the dish. There's bacon in the dish, so you're going to love it, Guy. <laughs> you're going to love it, Guy. There it is. All right. Awesome. Now, and you also have this this cocktail. Yeah. A supplemental the, course that you uh, can the, add on to the yeah. meal. Uh, yeah. Watermelon. Uh, infused vodka. You know, infused vodka with a uh, watermelon puree. It's, it's really good. Martini. Awesome. Italian. Awesome. Well, if we were circling this out, and, we, and if you gave one last thing you want people to know about your restaurant and coming in here for Restaurant Week, what would it be? Uh, the freshest seafood. Italian. you. If you're in, in, in Fort Myers, come here. Have some great seafood. Come in and say hi to me. I'm here 90% of the time. Um, <laughs> You, know, you should have a bigger smile on your face. When oh you say I, that. no! Uh, come on, man. I am smiling. Bags are in my eyes. Don't say anything. Um, no, but you know we have the freshest fish. I, mean, I take so much pride in the food I do. Come out, try some of my food. I love playing restaurant, and this is what we do here. We play restaurant, and I make great food. Awesome, chef. Thank you so much. We super appreciate it, guys. It's Restaurant Week, May 31st to June 13th. Make your reservations. It's filling up fast. We have 70 of the best restaurants all over Southwest Florida. The event is presented by Mercedes-Benz of Bonita Springs. Also, the Greg Norman Collection at uh, Miramar Outlets. Thank you, Dawn, and all your great staff for hooking us up with some great gear. If you want some more information, more things that we talked about, Follow us on all our social media platforms. Also visit us at sizzlerestaurantweek.com. You're going to see all the restaurants, all the regions they're in, all the menus and photos of food, and a little bit more information about the scholarship. Guys, we're six days away. I'm going to get off here so I can finish this watermelon-infused vodka and some more of this stuffed salmon and lobster crab cakes. Don't and, forget about the dessert. And the desserts. Oh, yeah. That's what we're going to do. Oh, yeah. It is the French... 
No, no, no. French, French toast, bread French pudding. French toast, bread pudding. See, now you know why I was oh, all yeah. like, uh, all right. Yeah, and I guarantee you, when I have it, I'll never forget the name again. Right. Guys, thank you guys for tuning in. Rafael Feliciano, Sizzle Sapos for the Restaurant Week. And we're it. That's, that's it. We're done. Catch us tomorrow. We're going to be at two more restaurants. Have a good day.